Resilient and determined. She is back. Wonder Woman, she can do anything. Great role model. The epitome of a true warrior. I'm eight and a half months pregnant. We're getting near. <laughs> Pequeño is now four pounds um, and growing. I'm still training six days a week. Now I'm in the studio teaching cycling, running, and strength five days a week. And usually, in addition to that, I do at least an hour of my own training a day. Peloton instructors have to train in order to do what we do. I definitely didn't tap into physical strength until adulthood. I didn't pick up a weight or run a mile until well into adulthood. Moving is actually one of the most fundamental, guttural things that we can do. I think that we have to honor the standards that we set for ourselves, not arbitrary ones established by anybody else. I shouldn't be surprised by the pushback I received, mostly on social media, mostly from people who do not know me. It really lit a fire in me. My life is my message, and it continues to be. I had already created the structure of the prenatal program before I announced my pregnancy. And when that became public news, that's when you invite both adoration and criticism. And I did receive some haters. And that fuels me. I, 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 I literally, I pour it in my bowl of Cheerios in the morning. Hustlers at Home was created during the pandemic and I literally wanted to take a peek at all the hustlers who weren't doing their normal hustle but were now needing to hustle at home. And today I am interviewing Dr. Urubunda. It's a quick chat intended to bust myths that people believe about pregnant athletes. Dr. Heather Urubunda, thank you so much for joining Hustlers at Home. Thank you for having me. So let's just tell folks a little bit about your background and how you came to Peloton. I'm an OBGYN. I'm based in New York City, actually stationed upstate New York at Fort Drum for four years where I took care of military families. The military knowledge is that just because we carry babies doesn't make us any less strong. Thank you for affirming that. Like what are some practical pieces of advice in terms of embarking on a fitness journey for a pregnant woman? So the biggest thing you have to do is listen to your body. You shouldn't feel like dizzy, lightheaded, you know, overly fatigued. As long as you're checking in with your body and your medical provider says you're good to go, you can, you know, continue to do things at the rate you have been doing it. Just check in with yourself. I would love to stop being surprised when women are strong. My professional society um, advises working out like 150 vigorous um, minutes per week. So that's like five 30 minute like workouts per week. Love so at, for at, like every pregnant woman, unless there's a reason why you shouldn't do it, you don't have to start at Robin level <laughs> fitness but you are training for something and you're training for that labor, you're training to be that great mama and physical fitness is part of that. That feeling of, oh, I'm not doing enough is completely common and it happens to me too. And I would encourage folks who feel that pang to take stock of their own value system and their own definitions of success because that's the only measurement that really matters. I'm a lawyer, I do my research, and I certainly didn't want to be caught off guard for the tough stuff, but you also don't indulge those feelings to the point of paralysis. And I think that is how I have approached my entire pregnancy. It's like, give me the pragmatic, real information, and then I am gonna be my own North Star in how I'm feeling that day. Look at this lady. Say hi, Dad. I'm Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh look, that's mom. Next time you see me, I will have a baby. I will be in a new apartment. I will hopefully not be in a moving truck while actually in labor, but it's gonna be pretty close. <laughs> I would love to teach a Peloton class in the morning and give birth later that day. <laughs> Beginner's heartbeat, everything looks great. We're creating space for more.